This is Fox 5 News at 10. What exactly is ahead for Robert Griffin III? Dr. Eric Wazowski, a physiatrist at MedStar National Rehab Hospital, joins us. Thanks for being here tonight again. Thank you. How serious is an LCL tear? Well, an LCL tear can be serious depending on the extent of the injury. So what we're looking at here is once Dr. Andrews goes into RG3's knee, we're going to have a lot more information about, number one, the extent of the LCL tear itself and the surrounding structures, and also, even more importantly, they really want to look at that ACL. And let me ask you a little bit more about that. We know that this ACL, the same knee as the LCL, is also the same knee that uh, Griffin had ACL surgery on as a sophomore at Baylor. What kind of prognosis is he facing if the ACL also needs repair? Well, it's certainly a longer recovery time. If you have a multi-ligament injury, if we're talking about two ligaments, the LCL and ACL, it's certainly going to be a longer recovery. Uh, the other factors are going to be what else is injured. As they look in there and they find perhaps if there's cartilage injuries, uh, that could certainly uh, extend the length of time for recovery and possibly affect the long-term function of the knee for, uh, moving toward the future. And, and what will that mean? I mean, say it's just the LCL or say it's the, the combination of both. How is he going to be once it's repaired? Can he be the Robert Griffin III that, that all of Redskins, Redskin Nation seem to fall in love with? It's a difficult question. I would say the best news that we can get is if this is just an isolated uh, LCL injury, which the LCL uh, is the ligament here uh -huh. on the outside of the knee. It stabilizes the outside of the knee. Uh, if it's just that ligament, that's probably the best news we can get uh, since it was not previously injured like the ACL was in college. Uh, there's probably a good chance that he would be able to return uh, by preseason and be ready for the next season, although you can never say for sure. Right. Uh, but if the ACL is injured again, uh, we're talking about uh, him possibly not returning till some point in the middle of the season, and we don't know if he'll be the same. We certainly hope he would. It's hard to say at this point. We heard our sports director mention that number 12 months, and, and you say it could be anywhere from six months to, to beyond that. When you've dealt with injuries like this in the past, we're not necessarily dealing with athletes or people who are the caliber of Robert Griffin III. Will he heal differently? Will he be, will his rehab be different than say you or, or, or me if we were going through something like this? It's a good question. I think it's hard to generalize, but certainly with an athlete of uh, RG3's level, uh, perhaps he may recover better. Uh, he's been through this rehabilitation before. The reports I hear about his prior rehabilitation process uh, is that he was incredibly regimented, worked incredibly hard, and I'm sure we would expect the same thing again. Uh, so I would hope he'd work just as hard uh, and hopefully get back to where he was. Yeah, we are all fingers crossed on that one. Physiatrist Eric Wazowski, thanks so much for coming in tonight. Thank you.